we're going to start just by going down and up. We're just going to bend down and come up. Getting to know our butts, getting to know our straight back if we can. Pulling your tummy in, down and up. Swinging those hips through. You may want to bend your knees just a little and stand up. Let's just bend your knees and stand up. And then we're going to go from side to side. It's a nice wide stance. As you go over, make sure the knee goes over the ankle. You're just going to go over and back, over and back. Let's turn to the other side. That foot trends out, going over and back. Nice and wide. Feeling the inside of your thighs. Round we go. Round, round. You may find that something that's just a little bit stiff, you may want to stay there just a little bit longer. It's your warm up. You do where you want to go. I think I need to a little bit more on the sides. So I'm going to bring my legs in a little bit more and I'm going to go up, up and over. Let's point from that toe, from that toe all the way over. Just crunch it down and up and down. Reach through the side and let it go down. Reach through and let it go down. Let's open that line the other side. Let it go down and reach through and over. Is there a difference in your side? It doesn't matter. Let's just stretch it out. We can only do what we can do. Yeah. Okay, and round again. Is that feeling a little bit looser? Is that feeling a little bit looser? High knees, where's that high knee? Today we're gonna to do lots of knees. So can you lift your knee up? Can you drive that knee up? Can that knee come up? That would be your high knee forward. High knee. Where is it? Stretch it back and forward, up and down. We've got some runners here. Sarah does all her drills. So let's see those high knees. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Make it strong. Yeah, nice and tall. If we've just been doing um, slow work, we need it a little bit faster. You'll be able to go much faster than me. Okay, and then if we do a jack, Where's your jack today? So you can do it in a single. You can do go out to the side once and twice and then to the other side. Down and back. You can do a big jack. Big jack, who's the big jack? Can I see a big jack? Yeah. And in. Heels go down. And we go out and in and down. Soft knees, soft knees. Feel that, feel that squat. Down, let's warm those arms up. Go in our triangle. Go in our triangle. Yes, and up. Yes, down and up. Down, so those arms go right the way up. To the side, feet come together, and we just go sideways. Side, and side, and side. Backwards, your hamstring curl. Where's your hamstring curl? Curl that knee back, curl that heel to the bottom. Will that heel go to the bottom? So you're flicking the foot back. Can we bring our arms in and do an open chest as we do a high knee? So we're going to bring some of these together. So we're going to do four knees forward, two, three, four, and simple. Hamstrings back, hamstring, 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 and it'd be four knees. Three, Four and back. Oh, one, two, three, four. You can go faster than that. So that's going to be one of our sequences. And then when we get to the top, we're going to stop and we're going to do things like windmills. So it'll be a windmill. Let's do some windmills. Can you swing? Can you swing? Swing, swing, swing. Yeah. Can you kick out your leg? Kick out your leg. Kick. Can you kick from your knee? Do you, knee, you lift your leg? And you kick. Lift and kick. If you're happy, kick faster. Kick faster. Kick faster. We're also going to be doing the side kick. So for the side kick, you need to bring your knee, you need your foot to the side, you need your knee there, you need to bring it in and kick it out. Dip your body, dip your body. So you kick and kick and kick. Try some side kicks. Remember, it comes from your knee and not your back. Your tummy is tense. Lift the knee up and kick. 
Have we got some people going really high? Let's see it, let's see, hi. It's just your warm up. Yeah, and what about the other side? Where is it? You bend it in, you kick it out. You bend in, you kick it out. You bend it in, you kick it out. And you can go a little bit faster, where are you? Feel the obliques working, keep your back straight. Feel it, yeah. Some of you will be able to jump and kick. I won't be able to show you, but if you can jump and kick, then please jump and kick. That's absolutely fine. We need to do something for our arms, for our thorax, so come down to your squat and just warm up. Warm up, warm up those arms. Yeah, and then come down and up, diagonally and up, diagonally and up. Diagonally and up, diagonally and up. And where are you? Straight up, down and up, down and up. Can you feel that squat? You're there, but you're coming up. You're coming up. Oh, we're going to go down onto the mat, just into our, our um, downward dog, rolling through. Roll through your body. And we did this last week where you come in and out. So you're just jumping in and out. You can walk it in and walk it out. That would be straight. And then if you want to go, when you go out, you can go east and west. So your legs would go out and out. In, in, out, out. So it's in and then out. In and then out. So your legs are going in and then out. In and then out. And you know my favorite movement. Once you come in, you then want to buck somebody up. So you do a handstand jump. Up, up, up. Really dynamic core. So we're gonna put those together and come in and out, in and up. It's a move I call the Bronco. So we're gonna go in and out, in and up. Kick somebody off your back. In and out, in and up. In and in and out, in and then kick up into a handstand kick. Have we got some good handstand kicks coming up? We got it. It comes in and it goes up, up, up. Yeah, so you're kicking people off. So that's really good. Our core work will be a V sit. So let's just see where our core is today. Can we sit straight? Can we do leg lifts? Can you hold and do a leg lift? One leg at a time. Warm that core up. Can you do your V-sit? You may want to lie down and do single legs. That's fine. It's wherever you are. Okay, your V-sit. Your V-sit. Where's your V-sit? We're gonna be doing that today. So that'll be fun. Okay, if you want to get your water, are you feeling warm? Maybe a little wriggle of your bottom. So wriggle your bottom from side to side. And I think we've mobilized everything. So we're gonna start in 30 seconds. We're gonna start our first five minutes. Number one will be high knees forward and a hamstring back. So just got 30 seconds if you wanna get some water on board. And we're going for full 40 seconds and do high knees. Then we're going to do a high knees with a side kick. Then we're going to do some squats and then high knees plank variation. So I'll, t I'll tell you each one as we go along. So we've got 10 seconds and you're doing your high knees forward, hamstring back. So high knees forward, hamstring back, hamstring back. High knees forward, hamstring back. Ready? And we go high knees. A one, two, three, four, hamstring. One, two, three, four. High knees, pull, two, Three, four, back, one, two, three, four, high. Go on, round your garden, go on, up and back. Two, three, four, and it's a four. Three, two, one, hamstring, four, three, two, one. You've got 15 seconds, go for it. You can jump it high. Go on, and back. Let's see those arms coming back. Don't just flay those arms, pull them down, pull them down, pull them down. Go wide, in three, in two, in one, and you rest. First one done, well done. So that was really good. So you've got 20 seconds. Our next one is high knees with a hold. So I want you running sideways, one, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, hold. 
really quick in three, in two, in one, ready, you go. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. Come on, faster. Up, up, drive it. Stop on the stop. Let's drive it. We're going for fast, that's your 10 seconds. Yeah, keep it going. You can move it round, it doesn't matter. Move it round. Where have you got space? It's just your one, two, three, up. Yeah, faster. Who's got it? You're halfway. Can you keep it going? Whoa, can you drive those knees up? Are those arms going back? Is your tummy tight? You've got 10 seconds. Come on, working it through, working it through. You've got five and four and three and two and rest. Whoa, a little out of breath. Your next one is really easy. It's double squats and then a squat turn. 20 seconds of two squats and then 20 seconds of squat turn. It's gonna be squat together, squat. You can jump it, ready? Three, two, one, we go. Squat together, squat. Or you can go squat and squat and squat, single squat, up to you. I'm just gonna keep it here. 10 more seconds, then you have to turn directions. In five, in four, in three, in two, in one, squat, turn, squat, turn, squat, turn, squat. You can decide, are you doing a quarter turn? Are you doing a half turn? Are you doing a full turn? Really, look at that. Make sure your knees are soft. Come on, lower. I can see you going lower, Meg, please. Let's go lower in three, in two, in one, and then you rest. Whoa, you've got it. Now we're going to the lion. Remember? It's your squat, lion, sorry, it's your plank. Wah! Down and up, that's your jump. In five, in four, in three, let's go. So you're going to go to your plank, feet are going to go wide, and you're going to come up. So it's back. Rah! Can I hear some rahs? Go on, let's see that rah. Feet go out, back, in, rah! I need that butt a bit lower. I need that core strong and, yeah, look at that, mind your knees. Be soft, you're halfway. Can you match at the second half? Let's go down, back, up, rah, yes. Be careful of that back, Em. Let's see it. You have only got 10 seconds left. Who's gonna work it to the last 10? Are you, are you, are you, can you do it? Where have you got to? In five, in four, in three, in two, and that's it. Oh. Last minute coming up, okay? It's two high knees, one plank. Four high knees, one plank. Six high knees, one plank. It's your ladder I talked about, okay? So it's two high knees, one plank. Four high knees, one plank. Ready? Two high knees, one plank. One, two, down and up. One, two, three, four, down and up. It's your ladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, down and up. Up to eight, one. Down and up. Come on, you've got five seconds to your halfway. Who's got to 10? Come on. Now back down, you're halfway down. So you'll go eight, six, four, two. And then you stay on your one. Where are you? One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four. Come on, five seconds. Can you get to your ones? Keep on your one if you're on your one. In three, in two, in one. Woo! That's your stop. Woo! It's a water stop. That's your first five minutes completed. Well done. So you'll be glad to know we're on the mat now. So our first exercise, we're going to do a V-sit, a side plank, a rollover reach, and then a twist, okay? I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and then we go onto the mat. So your first exercise is a V-sit. Actually, you can see me better if I'm bringing the mat nearer. In 10 seconds, it's your V-sit, single legs, and then we'll go to double legs. V-sit, single leg lifts in three, in two, in one. If you want to support yourself, then do. It's your scissors in a V-sit, or you could be lying down flat. I want those legs straight. If you need to bend them, that's okay, but I'd prefer them straight. That's 10 seconds. Come on, hold that core. Hold that core. Hold that, ooh, hold that core. You can, and then in and out, in and out, in 
and out. It's your land row. Come on. You've got coming up to 10 seconds. Come on. In and out. Arms in, arms out. Arms in, legs out. Knees in. I've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. That's the first one. Well done. Side plank. Nice side plank. I want you to be in alignment. I want your tummy tucked in. You can be on the ground, but I know some of you are up at this stage. And I want that leg going forwards and back. Really good stretch. Ready? In three, in two, in one. We're doing 40 seconds on one side, 40 seconds the other side. We're going to change it on 20 seconds to circles. Get that leg back. Feel that stretch through here when you're going back. Just back. Can you keep your legs straight? It'll isolate your glute a little bit more. Okay, you're halfway. Now circles. One, taps, two, three, four, back. One, two, three, four, forwards. Ten seconds left. Two, three, four, and the other, and back. Straight leg. One, two, three, four, forwards. One, two, rest. Change sides. I want to see that leg. When it goes backwards, I want it to go back. I want you long and strong. You've got 10 seconds. Let's get our position back. Let's stack our hips. Let's be all in alignment. Don't be curled. Ready? We're gonna lift straight leg. Forward and back. Forward and back. You know how it goes. Are you breathing? If you, next week you could have a weight, it's up to you. Hold that position. You've got five seconds of just forwards and back. Try and make it come from the glute. Keep your shoulders strong. Okay, taps forward. One, two, three, four. Back. One, two, three, four. Can you make a circular movement as well as a tap? You've got 10 seconds. Two, three, four. And a one, two, three, four. Five seconds. Last time. Two, three, four. And relax. Woo! Roll and reach. This is my sort of invention. I just want you to do something diagonally. So I want you to cross over that leg and I want you to roll, roll back and roll up. So I want that leg crossed over. So cross that leg over. We're gonna come back and then we're gonna reach up. Ready? And you go, roll and reach. Lift those hips up high. Roll and lift. Roll backwards and lift. Roll backwards and lift. You've got it. Roll backwards and lift. We're going. Oh, that's halfway. Other side. Come on. Other side. Change the leg over. You're going to roll backwards and lift it up. Roll it back and lift. Come on. Get the hips up. Get the hips up, 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 up. Reach for the sky. Whose apple is it? You've got five seconds. Come on. Reach up. If you've got a partner, you'll be tapping their hand. And you rest. So the next one is really quite easy, but I want you to imagine that there's something in between. So if you had something to put in between your legs, something like this, a ball, we're gonna twist, twist opposite. So twisting and twisting, lift and lower, ready? 40 seconds, ready? I just wait a second, I wait five seconds, so we're all ready, am I ready? You can not touch the ground if you want to, a little bit harder, ready? And go, one. Two, three, four. Yes, you've got it. This is the Nemo and everybody loves this one. Can you lift those legs up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Ooh. Uh, uh. I'm halfway. Can you hang in for that second half? Yeah, are you still lifting? Woohoo! Let's go. We've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, come on, six, five, four. Three, two, and rest. Whoa, five minutes of core complete. Well done. Whew. So if you want your water, we're now the, we're then going on to our next um, aerobic one, which is a little bit different. And then on our last aerobic one, we really push it. So this is a little bit of sort of core, a little bit of slow and a little bit of fast. Okay, the first, I'll go through the four ex five exercises. Okay, the first one, actually I'll show you. We're gonna punch, 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 and then we're gonna 
dip and weave. So you're gonna punch, 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 dip and weave, yeah? So that's the first exercise. The next exercise will be down and kick. 20 seconds each side, down. Remember you kick from your knee, yeah? As we did in the warm up, the next exercise will be just side kicks, side kicks. Remember if you wanna jump it, you can. We're staying on each side for 20 seconds. We're then going to go into our V, where we're just going to go in and out, in and out, going wide. So your legs are just going to go in and out, in and out. We're then going to finish with our Bronco. Just to remind you of the Bronco, it comes in, it goes out, sorry, it um, goes out, in, up, out, in, up. So it goes with your legs, you go out, in, and then handstand jump, out, in handstand jump we're going to go in 10 seconds for your first exercise which is four punches and a duck and weave two duck and weaves ready i want these big punches though come on uh go oh, one two three four one two three four come on can we hear some sound i want those big punches punch 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 Get that heart rate up. Rah, rah. Let's see you. Not taps, they're punches. Big punches. Let's see them. Come on, go low and punch hard. Come on, go low and punch hard. You've got 10 seconds left. Come on, go low. Rah, rah. And then punch. Let's see it. Yeah. Come on, punch the day out. Yeah, here we go. That's really good. In three, in two, in one. That's your rest. Okay, down and kick is your next one. Remember, it comes from your knee. So it comes here and you kick up. Down and kick. You can jump and kick up. Jump down into your squat and then kick. Or you can just go down. Well, ready? In three, in two, in one. Down and kick. Down and kick. 20 seconds each leg. Come on, push it high. Who's got a good kick up? Come on, you can. That's 10 gone. How many in the last 10 seconds? Where are you going? Get it low, get it high. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, come on, straight away. Kick it, kick, kick. Am I seeing any jumps and kick? Jump and kick, jump and kick, jump and kick. Here we go, you've got 10. Can you bring it home? Can you? Are you keeping it tall? Are you, let's see it nice and high. In two, in one, that's your rest. Ooh, side kick. Remember, foot goes out, knee comes in, you bend your body. In and kick, kick, kick. Yeah, knee and kick high. Some of you will be able to kick higher, so just have fun doing it. In three, in two, in one. 20 seconds each leg. Kick, kick. Remember, if you're a good kickboxer, you can jump. You can jump. Go on. Go on, smash that brick, smash that brick. It's done with purpose. Keep the core tight and kick. Let's see that dip over. Let's see that dip over. Other leg, other leg. Here and kick, down and kick. Arrgh. Come on, let's see that sideways. Come on, I'm not seeing everyone go sideways. Come on, you can, you've got 10 seconds. You can, because I know you can. Whoa, whoa. Yes, two are one. Right, 40 seconds of Broncos. Yeah, you know how it goes. It goes out, in, up. Yeah, really good on the core. Core is solid, and you're gonna give me a big 40 seconds. We come back to this exercise every week. How many can you do? It's your last fifth exercise. Ready, go, 40 seconds. Down, in, up. Out, in, up. Faster, faster, up. Come on, up. Up, come on, where are you? Where are you? You're coming up to halfway. How many did you do? Three, two, one, second half now. Go, how many are you going to do in the second half? Oh, I see lovely kicks up. Yeah, good, you've got it. Kick up, kick higher, 10 seconds left. Can you kick up higher? Go on, up, up into a handstand each time, come on. High handstand, in three, in two, in one, you rest. Whoa, well done. Now we're just back on the floor. You're, you're nearly through. You're over your hump one. So 
We're going to go in 30 seconds. We're going to go down onto our plank. And our plank, we're just going to go, let's see. So your plank is here. And I want you to touch your shoulder, touch your shoulder. And then I want you to walk out for one, two, three, four into a diamond. So you're going to touch your shoulder, touch your shoulder. One, two, three, four four into a diamond backwards and forwards that's all you're going to go we're going to go in 10 seconds for a full 40 seconds you can do it in your own time shoulder tap shoulder tap one two three four walking out into your diamond ready and we go tap tap one two diamond back back tap tap one two three four back back tap tap one two three four back back, tap, tap, one, two, three, four, back, back, tap, tap, you're halfway, you've got it, is your core tight, are you low, are you low, can you go right into that diamond, can you walk your hands further away, your challenge, you're over halfway, how low can you go in that diamond, tap, tap, you've got 10 seconds, whoa, low, tap, and tap and that's you finished first one okay crab lifts you know it's not my favorite exercise you can do it as a pelvic lift but a crab lift means that you come up and down yeah your hands are forwards your hands are underneath your shoulders a nice level um, platform and you just lift up and down those that do that well can just do one-legged lifts as well. I'm going to keep my two feet on the ground because my back isn't quite strong enough. But if your back is strong, you just do a one leg, change over legs, change over legs. You can keep high and just change over. Yeah, I'm going to do it as a lift. Okay, ready? 40 seconds, ready? And here we go. Up and down. Whoop and down. Yes and down. Yes and down. Can we get that butt up a little higher? Come on, the butt needs to be, before you take your leg off, your butt needs to be level with your knees. So it needs to be up here and your feet are underneath your knees. If you're doing your leg up, it needs to be high. Don't be sagged and lift a leg. You need to be high to lift your leg. You need to be up and then lift your leg. So your leg is level. You could try some leg lifts. It's up to you. We've got five seconds, four, three, two and then down well done we have all done the clam exercise before which just opens up your hip here so it's just opening your leg but I was going to do it as a as so you bring your legs in and you open 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 so if you bring your knees into 90 degrees into your side plank position yeah you then lift yourself up if you can and you're just opening and closing that leg. Yep. We're going to go for 20 seconds one side, 20 seconds the other. Ready? I'm going to give you five seconds and then we go. Ready? Do whatever you want. If you want to be on the ground, you can. Ready? And we lift. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Isolating this little muscle here. Your glute minor. Minimus. Here we go. We've got 10 seconds. 10. Here we go. And you're holding yourself up. So you're using your obliques so well. Give me four and three and two and one. Change over sides. I'm so kind. I'm giving you a little rest in the middle. Okay. Remember to be tight. Remember to be in your plank position. Get those knees in. And then you're just opening and closing. So you can do it low level or you can do it high level. I'm going to lift this time. You can be low if you want. Lift and open and close. Open and close open and close open and close give me 10 seconds here open and close 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 in three in two in one well done so we're going to overload our obliques a little so you're in your side plank if your arm was hurting you could be on your elbow i just want you to lift up and down so you're lifting your bottom up and down. If you can, the higher, and some of you I know are mega core, you go down and you come up. You go down and you come up. 
yeah have you chosen which way you want to go ready in five in four 20 seconds each side a little pause in between ready and you go lift and lower 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 10 gone come on you can lift and lower you can lift and lower you can do i see you slacking in three Woo. in two in one it's the other side Woo. we'll build that up so we can do 40 seconds each side so bring your um your legs are straight nice side plank core is tight shoulders are back nice and tall and you're just going to lift and lower ready are you there ready and we go oh one down two down three down good four go up higher can you go up higher can you that's ten and you've got ten seconds you've got five then you've got four and you've got three and that's it whoa the two one went quickly that time and I just love the next exercise we did it last week and it's your downward dog jumps okay so if you're in your downward dog position and you're just going to one leg and just going to lift it up and down fly yeah if you don't want to jump you could just be on your four point doing straight leg raises so that would be the lower impact i want to do a full 20 seconds each leg are you ready and we're going to fly ready 20 seconds go one yes go 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 yes you can each time leg comes down leg goes up down and up that's 10 where are you whoa i love this exercise come on a smile on a friday two one you change sides was that fun are you ready to change sides we need that full 20 seconds ready and you go for 20. Come on, that's 10. You can do it. Straight leg at the back. Come on, how high can you go? In five, in four, in three, in two, and rest. Oh, there you go. That's your core finish for tonight. We now just have one aerobic session to do. If you want some water, then please get some water. So we've got, we've got five exercises. We finish on our down and a star. And I think M is still here. So down and a star will be down and then a star jump as high as you can. So that's our very last exercise. Windmills up and windmills down is our ladder. So windmill up means that's a windmill. Then you go down, windmill, up. So it's like a windmill burpee. And you'd always do one down, but you increase the number up. That's your ladder. We start off with shuffles, or you can do single knees, okay? I can't do the single knee, but I want you to go side to side. So I'm just gonna shuffle, yeah? And we're going to do a combination. At the end of it, we're gonna do high knees, then we're gonna skip, and then we're gonna do jacks. So we're gonna do four of each, okay? That's our first one, so it'll be sideways, four knees, four skips, four jacks. Shuffle, 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 four knees, four skips, four jacks. So a little bit of aerobics. Then we're gonna run forward, and we're gonna swing, swing. And we're gonna run back, hamstring back. Run forward, swing, swing, swing. Run back, and then we're gonna go skater, skater, and skater. Okay, and then we go forwards. Our third exercise is four jacks. Lots of jacks today. Four jacks, four crunches. Crunch and crunch and crunch. Use that abdomen to crunch and crunch diagonally. Okay, and then we go our windmills. Totally confused, but it'll work out. We're gonna go in 20 seconds. We're gonna shuffle to the side. Four, knee, four high knees, four skips, four jacks. If you're in your garden, just have fun, okay? It's just in fours. So remember, if you go sideways with your knee, that's great. 
but I'm just gonna shuffle, okay? In five, in four, in three, in two, in one. So it's gonna be shuffle, 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 high knee, one, two, three, four, jack, 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 one, two, three, four, shuffle, 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 high knees, skip, jack. Yeah, you've got it. It's just shuffle, 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 high knees, skip, jack, as fast as you can, shuffle, 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 high knees, skip, jack, shuffle, 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 high knees, skip, jack, two, three, four, come on, you've got five seconds, high knees, skip, and jack, last time, shuffle, 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 high knees, skip, and four jacks, Woo! you're there, first 40 seconds done. Well done. This time, similar to before, we're gonna run forwards and back. We're gonna stop and do something each end. So we're gonna be four forward, four back. Ready? And we're gonna run forward, high knees. One, two, three, four. And then we'll swing, two, four. Back, two, three, four. Skater, one, two, three, four. Run, one, three, four. Swing, two, four. Back, and skater, one, two, three, four, up, swing, back, hamstrings, and then skater, one, two, three, four, up, swing, back, skater, one, two, three, four, up, swing, swing, back, two, one, rest, Woo. did anybody's heart rate get up? Okay, a little bit simpler, Four jacks, four crunches, each leg. Two, three, four, four, three, two, one, four jacks. Ready? And you go. You can do lunges if you want. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four jacks. Here we go. You're coming up to halfway. Come on, make those jacks good. Get those heels down and crunch it on the side. Yes, you've got it. You're over halfway. Jacks, make them good. Come on, come on, you're nearly home. Make it good. Other leg. Come on, five seconds. But come on, crunch it. Three, two, one. Woo! That's it, you're there. So, a ladder means that each time you go down, you do one like a burpee, but when you come up, you build up on your windmills. So it'll be one windmill, one backwards and forwards. Two windmills, one backwards and forwards. And that's your ladder. So you'll increase the number of windmills, but you'll always just do one plank backwards. Yeah, does that make sense? And we're gonna go for 40 seconds, and I'm going to call halfway. So you do one windmill, one back, two windmills, one back, three windmills, one back. Yeah, that's your ladder, and then you go again. In five, in four, in three, in two. Windmill, down. Windmill, two. Back, two. Up, three. And one plank, back. One, two, three, four, good. Back, down and up, one, two, Three, four, five, down and up, down and up. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. You're halfway, now can you get back to one? Three. You have 10 seconds. If you get to one, you just keep doing singles. That's one up, one down, one up, one down. That's your 40 seconds. Woo. Well done. A big 20 second rest. Now this is your down and star. Your last exercise. We're going for 40 seconds. Remember, it can just be down and star without a jump. So you can just go down and up, or you can go down and a big star. Okay, in five seconds, and I'm gonna call you each 20 seconds. Okay, Emma, if your back's good, we want to see some lovely stars. Ready? And you go, 40 seconds. Down, woo! 
yes come on you can move around your garden if you've got space make it down and big down and big that's 15 gone how many will you do all the way all the way that's halfway here we go you can go halfway there come on you've got it i've got 15 seconds left come on bring it home last time tonight last time 10 here we go five and four go low last two come on make them count and you're there Woo. well done that's your friday fives over so it's just a nice stretch now so water just bringing your heart rate down And just sit cross-legged just for a second just opening up I'm just gonna get we go and then I'll be with you Come on. So he was sitting he was sitting just watching so he's going to come and join us. So I just want you to lean forward and gather that air up. That's sometimes how we finish. I'm just going to start like that today. You've worked hard. Leaning forward, gathering the air and coming up. And wherever you want to be, I'm going to put my legs to the side. And I'm just going to reach over. So my knee is on my foot. My knees are at 90 degrees. I'm just going to reach over sideways. Just allowing the work to our oblique, so just allow some length to come in. And coming up tall, and then just twisting around. Try and calm your breathing, so you're just inhaling and exhaling. Then I'm going to bring my top leg down and I'm going to just bend over my front leg. If you want to go into the full pigeon pose, your back leg goes straight. I'm just going to go down. I want you down and long. I want you to feel it in your glute here. And I want you just to wriggle. Everybody's glute will be different. So you may just want to go over to the side. You may want to bring your arm around. And back. Wherever you feel the stretch, just stay there just for a second. Maybe just straight forward. When I go straight forward, I actually want to come up onto that knee and then just stretch forward a little. And just coming up onto that knee and stretching forward, but my leg is still at an angle. And that way I feel it in my glute. Just roll around. You find out what you've worked today. And keeping that same knee forward. I just want you to flap your legs over. Flap them over and flap them over. And that just brings you into that. And as you go back, that brings you into the upward stretch. Nice tall and up. As you come forward, you can come up and stretch. Have power in your fingertips, stretch your hand out and just let it come down. So look at whichever knee you had forward and just change the knee forward. So whichever knee you have forward, change the knee forward. So my other knee is forward now. I'm just gonna bend forwards and back. Same sequence of stretches. It's for you to find out where you want to go. Is that hip as, as tight? Is it looser? Just wriggle round, wriggle. You may not feel a stretch there, so maybe 
move that knee forward and move the back leg straighter so the back leg comes straighter just try and find out where you can feel the stretch remember your arms are all connected not prescriptive just find out where you need your stretch use your breath to inhale and exhale go around one side and I'm gonna go backwards looking who's behind you then that just allows me to come up forward Nice and tall. So you're just getting into your groin, into the inner side of your knee. Just coming up, stretching through east and west, your back. You can feel that through here. Nice and long. And coming down again. Let's go wide with our legs. And see where you are as you go down. Try and keep your back straight. So this time we're keeping our back straight as we go down. Doesn't matter how far down you can go. Try and go forward. Try and feel that straight in there. And use this to use your arms to go forward as well. And your hands come up. And this time going to put our elbow down the side of our leg so get get your elbow and your hand on the inside of your leg and your other hand is on your hip and you're going to reach over so you're going to just thread that elbow down onto the inside and come over and just allow your body to rest there Once I'm there, my body actually wants to go a bit further around. I'm going to keep my legs apart. I'm going to go backwards. Going backwards. Stretching backwards. Let's go down, get a little bit of a bigger stretch. Lifting that arm up and reaching backwards. Come back round. You may have found somewhere that was stiff for you. You may just be flexible so you can go all the way down. So down with your elbow. Your elbow goes to the inside of the leg. And you're going down. If you can get your head to your leg, then that's absolutely fine. Mine doesn't quite reach there. It's a long way off, but never mind. And then I'm going to bring that arm over and stretch. Lift that arm up and feel that stretch as you come over. Not a competition, it's just where you are today. Allow the body to rest there. And then come round to the back. And then the elbow on this side, just allowing yourself to flow backwards. And come round. And come forwards. And this time I'm going to ask you to curl your back. So bringing your legs in and then curl your back in. Curl your back in. Maybe just pop your hands underneath your ankles to help you to curl in. Maybe bring your feet in. I want to curl this time. Curl, curl, curl. Like there's a secret in there. <laughs> curl it in. Chin is on your chest. And then you come back. So I'm going to do some backward stretching. And I know I've got some really flexible people here. If you want to go into your back bend, then please do. I'm just going to go into in my hands in the back of my um, back. And I'm just going to allow my body just to go backwards. If you want to go right the way down, all the way down so that you're flat on the ground, then please do. I'm just going to do the simple stretch. I can see somebody standing, that's absolutely fine. 
but this is a backwards time in this session. So I'm just going to pull myself up. I'm going to put my hands on my back. I'm not going to look at you because that's why I need to keep be kept in line. I'm just going to allow everything to go backwards. You can reach your feet, you reach your feet. If you don't, you don't. Allow your front line to open. And push your hips towards the sky. Once you've had enough there, you're bringing yourself forward, your chin comes onto your chest, and you come down slowly with your chin forward, and then you come down into your forward bend, into low child's pose. So if you all meet in the child's pose, I just want you to explore your child's pose. I want you to make a wide child's pose so that you're stretching through your inner groin so your legs are going wide. And then go backwards. And as you do that, moving your hands backwards and forwards. Stretching through. So one hand comes on top of the other, bending your fingers backwards. Bend your fingers backwards on the other hand. I'd like you to go into your lunge position. Knee on top of your ankle. Back leg goes back, stretching through your groin. Just holding up, stretching nice and tall. Let's just try and get through here. Try and reach up. And this time we're going to do a tricep. So our hands, one hand's going to come up, one hand's going to go down in your lunge. We want you to try and feel that stretch all the way from the knee, all the way through, and maybe even lean a little bit forward. So if you lean forward, you can really feel, so your knee is backwards. Lean forward, so you can feel that stretch and a tricep with your arm. Put your hands out, we're gonna stretch across. So as we stretch across, how tight are your shoulders? Can you actually put one hand across? And can you actually twist round so that both hands meet? Or is there a long gap between your hands? Is your hand here or can both hands meet as we're straight, have you got the flexibility through that shoulder so that both hands will meet to the side? Or does one hand have to be a little bit bent? Change the other side. So one hand goes out, and can you go across so both hands meet? Mine don't go quite, but I'm sure we've got some flexible shoulders with everybody here. We just change the leg now the other side to the lunge. So try and get those hips straight, try and pull up, pull up nice and tall, try to set the other side. Feel that stretch through here. Move your leg so that you're just getting a little bit more stretch through here, just through the front of your groin. Again, just moving side to side with your arms. So both arms to one side, try and keep your body straight and just through the back of that shoulder. So your body is straight, but your arm is going over to the side. And then back and into the other side. And you can come down. I'd like you to be on your back, but I'm just going to stay sitting up. So if you, but I'll just instruct you through. I want you to do your figure of four stretch. So your knee comes onto your ankle. Sorry, your ankle comes onto your knee in fact. And you just pull your thigh in. Your hands go in between the bottom leg. And the figure of four stretch. 
souligner ça à elle. Add your exhale, just pull in a little bit more. Changing legs over so the other leg crosses over. Hands go in between, pull that knee in. You may want to push that knee away so you're getting that nice, nice stretch. The figure of four stretch. And you just release it into a hamstring. Give it a little bit of jumping. So you may want to bend your knee and pull down your ankle. Or you may be able to have that straight hamstring and pull your toe down. Popping your palm of your hand and your toes and popping through, stretching through that calf. You just hold your calf and pull that toe down. You can't quite reach your foot. Changing legs. The other side. Toe comes down, heel goes up and pull that leg in. You to roll onto your side and pull your back, your top leg back so your heel comes towards your bottom. So you're getting a front of the thigh stretch. Your knees can be together. Remember your quadricep is quadricep because it's got four parts. So maybe just move that stretch into different positions. And change over to the other leg. there, pulling it back, resting down, we've done the work for today. And just your final stretch, giving yourself a big hug, hands under your knees, chin in, really nice big hug, and just relax down, once more, chin into your chest, curling up, and relaxing. Curl your chin in and relax. Dropping your feet down onto the ground, allowing the legs to roll over, pushing yourself up. And back to where we started. So last big breath, big breath. Well done. Whoa. And well done you. Thank you for joining me on a Friday. So amazing to have so many people here. Thanks, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. Oh, so that makes it extra special. Yeah. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you, Thank you Mary. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Just so lovely to see all of you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.